This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Good job by our team really all weekend, finding a way to win three games. Um, today was more about taking advantage of what they didn't do well, which, you know, they they walked us. They they I think we walked a dozen times. We got hit by a pitch or two. Uh, got a couple of big hits and, you know, created a few things that, uh, you know, that we took advantage of. But I, I was uh, – I was just impressed by, you know, the hitters that they, they, uh, you know, we weren't getting a lot of hits, but they weren't, weren't going out of the zone. They weren't chasing too much and just kept fighting. You know, we got down three to nothing. Um, things got a little out of control with an air hit by pitch hit or two, whatever there in the second. And, uh, they had a chance to, with one more base hit to go up five, nothing. And, you know, we never really feel like we're out of the game. Even if they would have got that hit, I feel like we'd have climbed back in it and, you know, it was big for us to score there in the bottom of the second. I, I don't remember exactly what went on there. I think maybe a double ended up getting him over to third, got him in on a ground ball or something. But, uh, you know, the nine runs in the third were basically, you know, they had a little bit of a issue throwing the ball over the play. We got a couple of hits in there, but, uh, you know, just kept tacking it on. I think they, they wanted to get their pitcher out, but they, they didn't have anybody ready yet. And they were just hoping he could flip the switch. His stuff looked pretty good. So, um, you know, Hunter Holland, first inning good, second inning not not good. I thought his third, fourth, and fifth were really good. We just wanted to get him out of there with the low pitch count today. Coach with Holland. Uh, you know, obviously the second inning instead of the first inning today, but it seemed, what do you made of the way he battles adversity and at each start and seems to give you get get you deep into the ball game each time? Yeah, I mean today. Looked like he was going to have his really good stuff looking at in the first and the second didn't didn't happen for him and uh, get I don't know he he got through it. Coach made a visit and I don't know maybe might have hit another hit hit a batter or something. But you know for him to fight through that 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 was big for us. We felt like three runs that that wasn't going to be an issue. We were going to score runs. It was just a matter of when. We just need didn't need to be down five or six runs. It starts to weigh on you a little bit. I think as a hitter trying to do too much, but three, we just need to score one and we did. And, and then we got the big inning and kind of cruised from there. And, you know, we didn't play very good defense, sloppy game. That was the disappointing part of it for me. Uh, a little cold, obviously a little windy it plays a little bit into it, but uh, you know, I think the consistent thing was that we, we pitched well from the second on for the most part. And then, you know, the, the, the home run, I mean, it started out that they hit, they didn't be in the three run homer there in the, uh, in the sixth inning, that ball was way foul. And we were going, Oh my God, they, you just see it coming back. I thought it was going to hit the foul pole or stay foul. And that thing got inside the foul pole and he was thinking, okay, here we go. Seven run lead. Now it's four. And the inning, I think it was the inning before we had the bases loaded and one out. We had four or five hold up. We didn't score a run. So it's just crazy how the game works every now and then. But, uh, you know, putting together the four runs in the seventh kind of finished it up and really like what I saw from, you know, the two freshmen that pitched at the end. They they threw with some conviction, some velocity, had good secondary pitches. And, uh, you know, we're going to need those guys this week against UNLV and probably the rest of the season. A lot of people drew walks today, but Josenberger had three. Wagner had five. How big is that patience for those two guys with some of the other bats you have in the lineup? And obviously, they've swung it well, too. Well, you know, we it's big. I mean, we're uh, we're doing a pretty good job as far as the free passes compared to the strikeouts, and that includes, you know, that's walks and hit by pitches. Um, you know, we've got some guys. I know Jared's way, way four or five or six ahead on – free passes, strikeouts, maybe more than that. And I think Josenberger's right up in there. And th there's a lot of guys that, uh, you know, if you can if you can keep that stat close to even throughout the season, you've got a really good offensive team. Uh, Coach, there were a lot of RBIs at the top of the order today. Uh, what, what do you think uh, that says about John Bolton and his day? He, I think well, he got you know, on base. it's good to see John get a couple of hits and get on base. I think he took a wall, got hit by a pitch, a couple of singles. So, uh, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't know he, he scored three runs, which was awesome. Um, it's good, you know. I mean, we 
you know, you got to be you got to be strong up and down the order, and you don't have to hit home runs. Maybe if you're in an eight nine hole, but if you can get on base, flip that lineup over, get those guys to the plate, it usually means we're going to score. The lead got down to four there at one point, and you had led better up earlier in the day. Just kind of what's the thought process and pecking order kind of right now, especially in higher leverage situations? We're talking about lead better, yeah. bringing him in. Well, you know, I mean, we, 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 I think we might have had him up yesterday as well, or thinking about it. Just sometimes it's about uh, maybe you don't want to bring in a young guy again with runners on, want him to start an inning, get a little confidence. Ledbetter's got some experience. That was probably the thought going there. How good of a series was this for you just overall? I mean, it, it seemed like you guys played maybe as well as you have in any series. I thought we played well because we, we didn't until today, we really didn't make a lot of mistakes, um, fought off a lot of pitches. I think we frustrated their, their starters a little bit. Um, you know, it's like today they get the lead and then we go back, get a lead off double bang. We score a run. And then the next inning, you know, a couple of home runs and then guys fouling off pitches and, you know, holds the bat kind of stands out to me, even though he ended up striking out, you saw a lot of pitches. I think, you no, know, he ended up hitting a double hitting about triple or whatever it was. Um, I just feel like that, uh, you know, overall, we, we played three solid games, except for today. Defensively, it was a little lackluster, in my opinion. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll learn from that. Well, and, and you mentioned, you know, the the home run that they hit against uh, Adcock, and then there were a couple of errors behind him. How, how would you assess how he pitched today? I thought Cody threw the ball good. I mean, maybe, I mean, it was as good as he'd thrown it. You know, uh, the fastball, he was spotting it. He jammed a couple of guys with his fastball. He threw it away from him. Uh, threw a couple of good breaking balls. Uh, you know, that was that was an inside fastball, and the guy hit a foul, and it blew back. It blew back 25 feet. It was amazing. Um, I remember that happening a few years back. It's been four or five when we hit a home run like that and uh, started out way foul, ended up going fair, and we're like, what, what just happened there? And, uh, you know, it kind of – we could see it really good from our dugout, how that thing blew back, so – but I thought he threw really well, and I thought he shook it off, you know. But he didn't give up an earned run, I don't think. Maybe it says two earned runs. Maybe – did they score a couple in the second inning he pitched? No. Because we had – oh, maybe we changed one of those errors to a hit. I don't know. I thought we had an error on the – The one that Holt, the one that was hit the third, they will. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, he, he did a good job. Whatever. Coming in Tuesday and Wednesday. Say what? So what time of team you got coming in Tuesday and Wednesday with you? We have a team who didn't play all weekend because their series got canceled in California because field's too wet. So I just told the team, you know, you play a team that's talented, they can score, and now they got their whole pitching staff available. So um, I think they may be in league play this coming weekend, but if they don't start their number one, two, three at us, those guys will have midweek bullpens, if you know what I'm saying. So. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a big challenge. I'm planning on mixing up our lineup a little bit the next few days and getting some guys in there, and uh, we're going to try to win some games. Who's going to start Tuesday night pitch wise? <laughs> I don't I don't know yet. Maybe if you could talk uh, just how you're going to approach this from a pitching perspective, though, given that it's going to be your first five game week of the season. Well, we're, we're going to take one game at a time, obviously, but we're not going to we're not going to throw guys that we're going to need you know, maybe a couple times on the weekend. If we do, it'd be, it might be for a hitter or an inning, and um, we're going to have to have some guys step it up this week. Going back to Dave for a second. You know, you pulled Holland at, after five innings at 77 pitches. Was part of that just trying to get some other guys work, get Ad Adcock back on track and see those freshmen pitch? For the most part, yeah. We just want him to be really fresh for this weekend as well. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to eSports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Bet BetOnline features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.